Hello everybody, today I'm going to be going over 5 tips that will help you win every single fight. Timestamps are going to be down below if you want to skip to different sections of the video. Alright, so my first tip is to use something called the snail method. The name might sound really weird, but I promise that you'll start winning a lot more fights with it. I discovered the snail by watching Cease's VOD reviews, so big thanks to him. The snail is a way to counter someone that's pressuring you like crazy when you're low on health. So you might be wondering, how do I actually do a snail? So pretty much all you have to do is edit out of the back of your box while they're on your wall, and you create three more boxes surrounding the box you just came out of. If you do this and your opponent follows you into the first box, you'll have so many different ways to get damage off onto them. You can edit out of the top and edit down onto them for a free shot. You can play from two tiles away with a good peek, and you can even heal up easily. And if they don't follow you into your builds, you still have so much space to work with regardless. And let's say you get pressured even more. You can just edit out of the box you're in and make two more boxes. The more boxes you make, the more you'll start to understand why it's actually called the snail. All of the builds you made start to resemble a snail shell. As goofy as the name sounds, this is by far the best way to play defensively when you're getting keyed by any good player. So in this fight in one of my Unreal games, I see this player crouch walking up to me and I initiate the fight. I can quickly see that his mechanics are far better than mine, but I also immediately see a weakness. He's playing way too aggressive. And this brings me to my second tip. Always look for flaws or weaknesses in your opponent. Some of these weaknesses are things like their aim, reaction time, their awareness, not putting cones in their boxes, or even if they just flat out make terrible peaks. So what I do in this clip is I edit down and make two boxes to give myself space. Then he jumps down and continues to over aggress. Since he's playing so aggressive, I know that he'll re-edit his wall and try to take mine. So I decide to make a wide edit as he's trying to take my wall and I end up hitting him for 100. A few seconds later, I peace control him and finish the fight. But this entire fight is a great example of how to look and play off of your opponent's weaknesses. So the next thing I'll be covering is the momentum phase in. This is something that every tier 1 pro is taking advantage of right now. It's ridiculously broken and currently it's the fastest way to end a fight. To do a momentum phase in, you have to weaken the other player's wall to the point where one bullet will destroy it. And then you walk into the wall and shoot. But as you walk into the wall, you have to time your shot perfectly for it to work. Unfortunately, it can be really hard to get this timing right. So the best way to practice this is to use the phase in box practice map. The code is at the top of the screen and in the description. This map is perfect to practice in because whenever you destroy one of the walls, it almost instantly respawns. This makes it just like a real fight where someone is holding the wall from inside the box and you're trying to phase in. There are tons of different ways you can phase into someone's box that I might cover in another video, but doing this specific exploit and repeatedly practicing it should let you finish fights quickly and drop higher kill games. Another thing you want to be doing is applying constant pressure. Applying pressure is one of the most important aspects of fighting. So the reason applying an infinite amount of pressure in fights is so important is because it can make the other player nervous, stopping them from healing and reloading, and it can also end fights really quickly. To apply pressure on your opponent, you need to be trying to take their builds or try to get some cheeky shots in through their builds during the whole fight. A bonus tip that I have is that some guns are able to shoot bullets through walls. From my understanding, the Striker AR is the only gun this season that's able to bleed bullets through walls. This can be really helpful for getting extra chip damage in. And the last thing I'll be covering is double swinging. Double swinging is something you never want to do. It can get you killed in less than a second. So what you usually want to do is swing once then immediately pull out your shotgun and wait for the person to edit. 9 out of 10 times they'll make a wide edit and you can get a free shot off. Sometimes you can even bait an edit out of them if you pull out your pickaxe but you don't swing it on the wall and you just immediately bring out your pump again. This is something I do a lot in fights and really helps me out. So to recap, we covered the snail method, looking for weaknesses, the momentum phase in, applying pressure, and double swinging. If you practice and apply all these into your gameplay, I guarantee that you'll see more success when fighting. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks for watching.